Hello everyone, my name is Mwelo Chivasakunda. And I'm Clarence Chongo. And we are here at the Cape Town International Convention Center for the 30th anniversary of the African mining in Dava. And, you know, we're so excited to be a part of this. And with me, Clarence, just tell me a little bit about how you feel right now. We're outside here at the Cape Town International Convention Center where you can see the queues before we actually go in. It's so electric, so exciting. How are you feeling right now? Exciting is the word. I'm so excited to be here. I'm even more excited about the agenda for this year's uh, Mining Inda, Absolutely. which is about positive disruption. It's about how we bring innovation into mining. It's about dis disrupting uh, the energy supply to the mines, disrupting transport, even mining methods themselves bringing mining into the 21st century and looking into the future. So yeah, an exciting agenda. Absolutely, and it's obviously, obviously because this is day one, we've already had several engagements. We were here yesterday and had some interesting conversations with Chamber of Mines, who gave us some insights around the ministerial briefing, which is usually the precursor to the event where all the key uh, you know, elements of what will be going on this week is actually discussed. Today, we do understand that there's, there's the presidential address that will be coming. Uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa will be making uh, an appearance uh, at this particular event. And, you know, we'll just like to thank, you know, ProFlight for making it possible for actually for us to actually come to Absolutely. Cape Town. Absolutely. So we encourage you guys to follow us on all our platforms. And Clarence, just remind me, what are our platforms again? Okay, so we are on uh, LinkedIn, obviously. We are on Facebook. We are on X, uh, formerly Twitter. We are also on Instagram. And uh, for the bulk of our television content, we are on YouTube. Absolutely. And not forgetting our partners, Prime TV, who will be broadcasting these special episodes that we're going to be recording from Mining in Dava 2024. So to all our viewers, continue to follow us. And what's our tagline again? Get to know. With me to have a very interesting conversation is uh, none other than Mr. Lishala Stumbeko, who is the, the chief executive of Access Bank Zambia, who is also uh, attending this year's event. Lishala, how are you doing? Oh, doing very well, Melo. How are you? I'm, I'm doing great. I mean, uh, it's nice and sunny in Cape Town today, and uh, looks like uh, it's going to be a very good day today. No, I think today also promises to be a very good day. Yesterday was quite exciting. Uh, Absolutely. A lot of news coming out, so Absolutely. I think we're looking forward to what's going to happen. Absolutely. And then speaking about day one uh, yesterday, I think we had uh, significant announcements coming from the head of state of Zambia as well as the head of state of uh, South Africa and various delegates who, you know, obviously are quite bullish about mining. But then you from uh, Access Bank would like to you know why it's so important for you not only to take part in this uh, year's event, but also what uh, the outlook looks like for the bank. Well, I think it's important to take part in, in a, you know, in, in an event such as this one because, first and foremost, Zambia still remains fundamentally a mining country. But well, I mean, as we diversify to support the value chains in mining and also, obviously, agriculture that's attendant to it and everything else put together, it's important that we help Zambia in its economic recovery. And I think an event such as this showcases where the country is going and uh, obviously showing the support that we have for Zambia's trajectory going forward. Absolutely. And obviously, the president did actually indicate that, uh, you know, there's uh, been significant exploration that's already taking place. And obviously, the government is uh, putting, uh, you know, it's uh, all, all hands in, uh, in the exploration uh, side of things. How is uh, the bank looking at this and uh, does it uh, breathe a positive outlook in terms of growth for the mining sector in Zambia? I mean, look, we, we always need a lot of exploration. Um, you know, with exploration, you shouldn't start and stop. It has to be an ongoing activity because that's where you harvest future mines that are going to be developed, they all come from the exploration pool. So that activity needs to be uh, strengthened, boosted, and we continue to explore going forward. We know where all the respective minerals are sitting. I mean, with a lot of the demand uh, coming through in terms of the energy transition, it's, it's very important that our exploration program taps where all these minerals are sitting as we plan to develop future mines and put all the finances to uh, you know, for, 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 for mining development going forward, it's important that we have this. And with what we are seeing now, clearly the next 20 years uh, definitely look bright. I think we'll see a lot of mines coming up, but it all comes from the exploration pool. So it's very important that it actually takes place because it tells us that yes, indeed, we will continue to grow the mining sector. 
Absolutely. Yeah. Now, Lishala, thank you so much for speaking to us. And uh, to our viewers, please tune in for more insights from Manning Endava. This has been Mwelo Chvesekunda speaking to uh, Lishala Stumeko, who is the chief executive of Access Bank Zambia. So stay tuned and get to know. Hello everyone, my name is Mwelo Chvesokunda and I'm here at Mining in Dava and I'm about to have an interesting conversation with the Managing Director, CEO of uh, First National Bank, Zambia, who is attending this particular event with uh, a delegation of, uh, of her peers. Madam Chola, how are you? I'm very well, Mwelo, how are you? I'm well and it's such an honor to host you on your maiden uh, expedition to, uh, to Mining in Dava. Thank you very much. Absolutely. So let's cut straight to the chase. We're now on day three and you've had several engagements starting from Monday when there was the opening uh, ceremony uh, as well as, uh, you know, various meetings that's, that you've had mm -hmm. thus, mm -hmm. thus far. How have you found this particular mining in Dava, especially being the first one after you took off over office of CE? Thank you very much, Manuel. Um So the mining in Dava is always a great networking opportunity for us. Um, I have been here before in other capacities, but coming here and representing FNB Zambia, First National Bank Zambia, or yes, FNB, FNB, as yes. we're fondly known in the market, mm -hmm. um, is, is just a great honor for me, firstly. But mm -hmm. secondly, it's obviously a great privilege to meet a lot of our clients here, uh, prospective clients, uh, government officials, but even just a whole lot of people from different walks of industry, from different uh, places, but all part of this great industry. But most importantly, very excited to meet a lot of our clients, prospective clients, get insights on what's happening in the industry. Um, I'm sure we will talk a little bit more about the disruption in mining, Absolutely. but um, thrilled to be here. Absolutely. Now, you've, you've spoken about getting insights, mm -hmm. and on Monday we heard from our president, uh, uh, Mr. Hichilema, who made very bold announcements in terms of the updates, giving the market updates regarding mm -hmm. the state of mining in Zambia. Yes. Um, from the bank's perspective, how do you see yourselves positioning yourself to obviously answer the call to, you know, to assist in building this industry? So, as I said, as a leading bank, FNB Zambia is well poised, purely and, and totally committed to supporting the call from, from the president, but also the, the development that the country needs um, in this sector. So we have been working and supporting the industry already. We will continue to do that. There's work around exploration that the president and the Minister of Mines have both spoken about. Again, that's an area that we're looking to work with, with government to support development of mining in Zambia. Absolutely. Madam Chola, thank you so much for speaking to us. And thank you for myself uh, and the team of Financial Insight for supporting the media in Zambia. And we hope uh, to continue our wonderful collaborations in events to come. I would like to wish you well in the rest of uh, the remaining days of mining in Dallas. Thank you very much. And, and well, congratulations to yourselves. I think you guys are doing a great job. With, with um, a bank like you <laughs> powering us with uh -huh. the technology. And it's, it's uh, yes, it's been a phenomenal journey so far. And we just love the fact that the bank sees small businesses as potentials for bigger businesses. Absolutely. And we absolutely have enjoyed our relationship. Thank you very much, Mwelo. And thank you to you and your team thank for you the coverage. So much. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, Mwelo Chvesakunda here at Mining in Dava in Cape Town. This is the 30th edition and we're on day one and we're about to have a special conversation with Mwindo Siakalima, yeah. the CE of Stanbic Bank Zambia. Mwindo, how are you doing? Very good, thanks Mwelo. Great, thanks for great, having me. Yeah. Great, Mwindo. You know, last week we had a, a pre-conversation, yeah. but now we're in Cape Town and mm -hmm. we've just had a phenomenal morning where various heads of state, including ours, have given keynote uh, mm. speeches. Yes. How did you find this morning's session and what were some of your important key takeaways? Yeah. This morning's session was, um, I think, uh, a very good session um, overall. Um, I think we obviously started off with uh, the local economy, which is in South Africa, right. um, and then went up north um, uh, to the Congo, and then, and then we had the Zambian president uh, speak. 
um, I think a lot of good things came out of this morning. Um, and looking at the, um, the theme, uh, which is obviously uh, embracing um, you know, uh, change and, and, and uh, basically things to do with AI. Um, it's actually a very important um, aspect of um, looking how we, from a disruptive perspective, um, as, a, as a, either a, a financing uh, or financiers community, uh, but as well as um, as a country, it's important for us to understand um, that there's positive disruption. Talking about Zambia, obviously we're talking about below a million um, at, at the moment, uh, below sort of 800,000 uh, metric tons of copper uh, yes. to 3 million. That's Correct. a journey. Yeah. That's going yeah. to be a journey. Absolutely. So Absolutely. being a journey, how do we then um, say we, we are at uh, 700, 800,000? Uh, how can we work backwards from 3 million tons to where we are and, and start looking at things like energy? Correct. Do we have enough energy um, to, to basically um, uh, look at that? It was also spoken, spoken to in the earlier session. Um, there's also infrastructure, rail and road. Um, do we have the capacity right now to move the tonnage um, that we're talking about in terms of um, uh, mining in future? So uh, th those are the sort of key things uh, that came out. Another key aspect is about inclusive growth. Um, from an inclusive growth uh, perspective is how are we as a continent, as a country, um, getting um, you know involved and, and involving uh, local citizens uh, in the growth of, of mining. Obviously, from a capital side, uh, what was also raised was um, Zambia is ready um, to to basically receive uh, yes. investment, yes, and that's a very key point. Uh, so international uh, investments and investment investors were actually asked um, and and shown uh, what Zambia has actually been able to achieve uh, in the last few years in terms of. Um, uh, attracting of investments that is in the billions of US dollars. So those are the key things and things that came out uh, this morning. Well, um, Mr. Kalema, thank you so much for talking to us. We will be catching up with you a little bit later. This is only day one. Uh, yeah. So we look forward to further engagements regarding, you know, uh, some of the panel discussions that uh, you will obviously be, uh, you know, uh, going to participate in or to view so we can get more insights from you. Thank you very much, Mola. Yeah, right. and good to be here. Thank you. So, th so that has been Windows Kalima, uh, the CEO of uh, uh, Standard Bank Zambia, who's been speaking to us right here on day one of uh, the, the 30th edition of uh, the, uh, the African Mining in Daba. So stay tuned uh, to all our platforms for more insights from this year's in Daba and get to know. Ladies and gentlemen, it's day two at the Investing in African Mining in Dava. And we have no less than Mukwandi Chivesakunda here, the Chief Executive of Zanako Bank. Okay, this is Chivesakunda, welcome to the Financial Insight Show at Mining in Dava. Thank you for having me and thank you to the viewers. Okay, so um, this year's theme is about positive disruption. So what does that mean to you and what does that mean to Zanako and what should it mean to the country and to our viewers? So yesterday during the opening, there was the statement that was made, either you disrupt or you are disrupted because the disruption is coming, huh. whether we like it or not. And that is what it means to Zanako. We know that there are new innovations, mm -hmm. there are new technologies, there are new initiatives that are coming. However, if we're not ready for that, and if we don't prepare ourselves for that, then the potential disruption can, can be negative. Mm -hmm. However, if we're ready, and if we're prepared, and we deliver to expectations, then the disruption is positive. Mm -hmm. So that's what it means to us. Part of us being here at the Mining in Daba is also to be part of that positive disruption. Mm -hmm. We know very well that yesterday there were several announcements made about the investments in Zambia, mm -hmm. and those investments require finance, either in terms of transactional financing, mm -hmm. or in, in terms of growth and scaling up, or in terms of operability, and all these are initiatives that Zanapo can take advantage of. So I'd like to thank you for being here with us as we disrupt. I'd like to thank the Mining in Daba organizers. I'd like to thank the Zanapo team, the Zambia team, because together I believe that we're positive disruptors. Thank you very much. And uh, clearly Zanapo has had um, history with uh, the Mining in Daba. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your insights about that relationship and uh, over, over the years what that has meant to you? 
Um, as we know, Zambia is a mining country. So a few years ago, we as an ACO recognized that for us to really play in this space, we needed to understand mining better. Mm -hmm. And so on that basis, we came to the first mining endeavor that we participated in mm -hmm. three years ago. Mm -hmm. And after that, we were sold. Mm -hmm. And we've come back every year since. Mm -hmm. And what we've been able to do is to identify various partners mm -hmm. and various investors, various initiatives that we then apply ourselves to, mm -hmm. to make sure that the Zambian people also benefit. We even have a stand, mm -hmm. Zanako stand, where mm -hmm. Zambians have been going to sit, mm -hmm. to just spend time, drink coffee, or do anything they like, because we are here. Mm -hmm. It's not just Zanako that is here, it's Zambia that is here. Mm -hmm. And we're part of the mining in Daba because we are a mining country. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, and a remarkably inspirational figure, uh, Mukwandi Chivesakunda, talking to us here on day two of the Investing in Africa Mining in Dava. My name is Clarence Chongo. This is the Financial Insight Show at Mining in Dava 2024. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Mukwandi, for being here with us. Thank you. about to have a very interesting conversation with our partners and friends from Zambia. It's the Sunny Zulu of Static Charter Bank. Sunny, how are you doing? Very good. I hope you're doing well as well. I'm doing great. Awesome. You know, the weather's not so great today in Cape Town yeah. on day one of mining in Dava, but hopefully it will pick up. Yeah. yeah. So, so Sunny, we just came out of the presidential uh, you know, address. How did you find that and how are you finding this year's mining in Dava so far? Fantastic. I think it was very, very good. Uh, number one, it was actually good to see that uh, President HH uh, was one of the keynote speakers at uh, this year's mining in Dava. It's not the first time that uh, he was doing that. Uh, two years ago, uh, he spoke. Uh, even though it was uh, virtually, but uh, his message was right to the point, so impactful, uh, good to learn uh, a number of commitments uh, from uh, investors. And um, he gave a very good account of what has happened in the last two years since he made the last uh, commitments uh, two years ago when he announced even the three million uh, you know, tons uh, a target for Zambia. He was able to give an update of what has happened, uh, also giving an account and an update of what is happening now and what is likely to happen in the next uh, a few years. Absolutely. And uh, obviously, as a bank, you've obviously positioned yourself. Being a part of this particular event is obviously very important. Sure. So far, what have the conversations been like for you? And what are you hoping after Endava to, you know, to take with you? Uh, as, as you've indicated, that it's obviously Zambia is looking quite optimistic, yeah. especially after the presidential yeah, yeah. Look, uh, as Standard Chartered, we have met already with a number of uh, investors. Some of them, uh, we have already been in discussions. And uh, some of them, we knew what they were doing, but coming to sit here at an uh, endeavor, it is really a very open uh, forum, open space, where, um, you know, if, even though we have a lot of people here, we have a lot of closed door uh, meetings. And some of these meetings are meetings that um, we would ordinarily not be able to have because Correct. everyone is here. All the decision makers are here. So when you're sitting with everybody in the room, uh, we are able to get uh, very detailed information in terms of the, um, the opportunities, in terms of the, the challenges. Even some of those things um, that uh, we hear, um, well, sometimes even on the news, and now you don't really know the source of that information, Correct. and you need to go and verify it. Um, as Standard Chartered, we've been super, 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 uh, you know, excited and impressed that we've had opportunity of meeting with um, our clients, uh, including the um, regional or group office uh, representatives, and giving us first-hand information in terms of what are the next um, steps. Absolutely. Well, Sunny, thank you so much for speaking to us. We hope to catch up with you a little bit later, and we, we, uh, we just wish you all the best with uh, the rest of the couple of days at Mining Indava. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward as well out of this Mining Indava to be able to share. Obviously, some of the conversations are very confidential Absolutely. because we can't be able to yeah, reveal to talk it. about everything. Yeah, still in yeah. the control room, but at exactly. some point, we'll be able to make those big announcements. Absolutely. Awesome. There you have it, Sunny Zulu, uh, the CEO of uh, Standard Chartered Bank uh, Zambia, who has just been speaking to us here at uh, the 30th edition of Mining in Dava in Cape Town. So from me, Mwelo Chvesakunda, get to know.
Hi everyone, it's Mwelwa here at the Zambia stand where I'm about to have another interesting conversation with our partners and friends from Cobalt. And with me is none other than Zambia CEO, but no wait, she's actually Africa CEO of Cobalt. Okay, how are you doing? I'm good, Mwelwa, how are you? I'm, I'm great, it's always a pleasure bumping into you. And you know, I know that this is your second or third mining in Dava that you've been to? Oh, well, it's actually my first. Oh, your first? Oh yes, after taking over the role. But, but tell, tell us a little bit about uh, Cobalt and why it was so important for you guys to be part of the 2024 edition of Mining in Dava. Yeah, I think obviously being a, the new kid on the block, as I like saying, we are here to talk about exploration. We've got an exciting project in Zambia. We've got exciting projects in Zambia, but the biggest one and what was announced yesterday on the Financial Times is the Mingomba resource. We know it's a high-grade deposit, more than 5% copper, and will be one of the largest, newest underground mines in the world, really. So more than Zambia, more than Africa, I think we have an exciting project. And as we are in Dava, there's a lot of networking, there's a lot of building relationships. And with lots different of wine drinking parts. as well. Yes, we are in Cape Town. So <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah. Part of that, we want to make sure that we get all our projects uh, across Zambia, across the line, obviously in an ethical and sustainable manner over the coming decades. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, this year's theme is around disruption. How important and how does Cobalt fit in to the whole disruption narrative at this year's Mining in Dava? Fantastic question. So when you look at critical metal, metal supply and mineral supply worldwide, we're not seeing enough innovation in the exploration of these metals. And where Cobalt comes in with our technology and AI is we want to make better decisions, better exploration decisions to find these metals more strategically. And being the player that we are, there are a lot of people in the room, we're not seeing enough investment in exploration and that's because the techniques have not evolved. And for the techniques to evolve, you need to innovate. And that's where COBOL comes in. We merge data science, software engineering, and your traditional geosciences in one hub. It's not, we don't, it's not software as a service, it's part of our ethos and in our DNA to basically explore and find more of these minerals more effectively. Right, fantastic. And finally, you know, obviously you're sitting down and having great conversation. What have been some of the key takeaways of some of the conversations that you've had? Because Mining Dava is famous for its networking. Um, it's day one, yes. to be fair. Mm -hmm. So everything is really meet and greet. Who is Cobalt? What are you doing? What is Mingomba? Right. But beyond that, what are our projects in Zambia, around the world? We're in Namibia. We're prospecting in Botswana. And that means we're not limited in where we operate. I take care of Africa, but we have a global portfolio in Australia, in Canada, and in South Korea as well. Absolutely. No, Mavke, it's been wonderful talking to you. We look forward to engaging with you more. I know it's only day one, and we're wishing you all the best. And to all our viewers, please, if you're in Cape Town and at Mining Dollar, please pass through to at Cobalt and find out about you know the hottest kid on the block on the Zambian mining scene. For me, Moloch Vesakunda, get to know. With me today is our good old friend, Mr. Mabel Mudenda, who is the board chair of Insizwe, who has also been having several important strategic meetings at this year's Indaba. So sit back and enjoy the interview. Mr. Mudenda, welcome to the show. Thank you, Mwela. It's, 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 it's actually really nice to, to have found you here and meet you here and uh, obviously to discuss uh, uh, some of the things that uh, we are doing here as Mudenda Capital. And obviously, in Sizwe being one of our brands and being one of the media sponsors, yeah, we 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 it's been an interesting it's been an interesting trip. Uh, we've met quite a few of our prospects uh, on Curio Security, as you know, Curio we do all the we do the uh, copper security escorts for 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 our for our uh, copper traders, Impala, uh, Steinwin, uh, Reload Logistics. Uh, Access World, mm -hmm. uh, and it was nice to see all our clients, Politra. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, um, even on yeah. the insurance, we do the goods in transit insurance for all the for all the companies that I've mentioned, who are blue chip uh, companies out of the uh, the UK and Europe. Absolutely, and obviously, you know, because mining in Dava is such a wonderful networking sort of environment. It's the biggest mining event, uh, you know, uh, on the planet. And I know we have spoken about this, but this particular year's event was it any special like previously before? Because every time you come out of Indava, there's always a big announcement that's coming. So, what are you able to share with us? No, but this one was special in the sense that uh, there are some clients that have been actually chasing for the last maybe 
three, four years and been meeting here at the Indaba and could never ever get access to them. Mm -hmm. uh, but this one was special that, uh, you know, they, I think they got used to seeing me. So they, you're yeah. a regular face yes, at Indaba, yeah. At Just Indaba. like Financial Insight yeah, now, yeah. we're a regular face now. <laughs> so we, we have now obviously signed, we signed up one of the big Chinese companies on the security mm -hmm. and hoping we can also sign them up on the insurance. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this one was special in that sense that uh, our, all our prospects are now on board. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, Mr. Mdenda, thank you so much for speaking to us. We know that, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, this is the, the final day of Indava, and you're obviously slated for a couple of more meetings before we head back home. So, we'd like to just, on behalf of myself, my team, and I, would like to thank you and your group of companies for sponsoring us at this year's Mining Indava. Thank you. Thank you, much. And to our viewers, look, stay tuned and... How quickly do you see a, a market forming both in South Africa and uh, at a regional level? Do you think do you take, do you think we one, two, three, four, five years away mm -hmm. from it? I expect the first customer um, imports from the Southern African power pool into South Africa to happen in 2024. It's inevitable. One needs to link the current deficit in South Africa with certain opportunities on the Southern African power pool market. However, um, those volumes are going to continue being very small because the, the amount of demand in South Africa could completely crash the Southern African power pool market, as you uh, correctly stated. But the growth is incredible, the potential for the growth. So if we, the Southern African Power Pool, just for context in case there's no uh, energy spectre, uh, participants in the room, is the most liquid market in Africa, competitive Power Pool exchange. And it's almost exclusively based on the North Pool. So it utilizes the same technology as the North Pool does. So in 2023, 7,000 terawatt hours were traded on the competitive markets of the SAP compared to 1,000 terawatt hours in the North Pool. So we are starting from a very small trajectory, but the increase potential is absolutely huge. ESCOM is currently working already on preparing the kind of market rules for third party participants to participate in such a manner and this is why effectively because of all these changes um, we are now moving and incorporating in South Africa. It's an inevitable trajectory that is not driven only by decarbonization requirements and goals, it's driven by the dire deficit and it's driven by the fact that ESCOM and the National Treasury simply do not and should not shoulder all the liability for new um, power purchase obligations um, for new power generation supply in South Africa.